Why, why did it... <laughs> well, there was no transition on that. Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to Lumber Tycoon 2. Yeah, that's right. I'm playing some lumber because, um, yeah, it, I kind of ran out of time for any kind of programming and stuff, so I needed to just kind of record, and this is what I wanted to do because it's been a while, and I didn't realize that it's been almost a month since I've played in here and that's not good so <clears throat> oh and I just realized my face is on the wrong side isn't it oh my goodness what am I doing over there hold on fade 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 oh uh thank you for me thank you um I can't I can't press E on it oh oh wait there it is Oh, thank you! What? Shout out to, uh, to Blade Swifter 101. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. What all do I have here? Let's see, I got... It's been a while. Oh, the blue is more blue. More glowy. Oh, it looks amazing. I love the way it glows. Thank you. Thank you, Blade Swifter. Appreciate it. What was I doing last time? Let's see, I was... Trying to build up there, wasn't I? Hmm. 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 See, you don't need Minecraft. Just my voice. Hmm. I'm a villager and stuff. So, for those of you that don't know who I am, or this is your first time ever seeing one of my videos, welcome. First off, to the channel. Um. I build things and program and stuff. <laughs> what's What's the best way to describe my channel? Um. My channel is very selfish. It's all about me. <laughs> no, I, I kind of break the rules of what a YouTuber is supposed to do or say or think or feel um, by kind of breaking the barrier of being a YouTuber. Like, I break the fourth wall a lot of times. Uh, oh, hello. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Excuse me. Sir, or or madam, I don't want to judge. Um, but mainly Lumber Tycoon Two is how I got my start for Roblox itself. Um, a lot of people ask me, who or like what what made you start, and my main answer is my kids. My kids started me on Lumber or Roblox in general. Um, what got me started into YouTube was um, the fact that I didn't like what I was seeing on the internet. I didn't like seeing a whole bunch of people screaming and yelling and carrying on. Oh, hold on, B. There we go. And just, in general, not good for my kids. I, I don't want to see somebody sitting there just cursing, cussing, and carrying on. Or streaming for no apparent reason. There's this one guy that my son keeps trying to watch. And he literally just looks at the camera and goes, Oh my gosh, you guys, what are we going to do? I heard a noise at the front door. And it's, it's I'm just going to go, I'm going to open the door. I'm going to do it, you know, just straight into it. I'm like, really? What? Why would you open the door, first off? Second of all, why would you have somebody recording you doing it? There's a lot of things I don't understand in this world, and I'll be the first to admit it. But one thing I don't understand is this interest of watching somebody just scream and yell on a video. No offense, Jack, or PewDiePie, or Markiplier, or whoever else you watch, but like, I don't, I don't know. I like, I like the gameplays when they're actual gameplays, but I don't like just the screaming. I mean, that's how I found out that my voice sounded kind of like uh, Markiplier's. Was the whole <laughs> the <clears throat> <laughs> he fell into the hole. He crushed his head. Oh no! Like, hmm. I could do that on a video for like thirty minutes and stuff, and then just cuss. I mean, that's that's what people are into. But I, it's not my channel. So, I decided I could do it better. 
I could come in here and I could make videos. I could get on YouTube and make videos that I would watch. Because that's what I do is like, whenever I was trying to learn Lua scripting, programming for Lua, for Roblox. I mean, Alvin Blocks, he is the man, okay? Huge shout out to Alvin. And I know it's been a while, but congratulations on the 100K. And he beat me, by the way. He he got there way before I did. Uh, open door. Okay, cool. So that should be all closed doors. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Am I? What in the world? <laughs> I'm not supposed to be able to climb those. Silly code. All right, let's go to this side and open. Wee. No doors stuck up there? Nice. Look at that. We are part way through. So I'm gonna do this one kinda like I did with the uh the other one. Oh sorry. Oh, somebody's been talking to me. No, that's hey code, this is Neon Light Hawk 84 on my brother's account. But I am only going to watch my bro is going to play. <laughs> okay. Nice to see you again. Okay, so, um, I'm gonna need to like double my doors, aren't I? Double door. <laughs> Double door. Yeah, oh, by the way, if you didn't know like what my gameplays and stuff are about, um, imagine like, okay, do you remember the old leafy videos? Maybe, maybe you are too young to know it. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're a teenager and you just now came back to my videos because you're like, oh my gosh, he played lumber. Um, who knows what the reason, but there used to be this YouTuber called Leafy, and I don't know what's happened to him since then, but he did nothing but um, badger, bully, expose videos. I mean, that's all he did. But it was to gameplays of like uh, some, some kind of Team Fortress. It wasn't Team Fortress. It was some kind of map. Um, like Black Hawk, Black Hawk Down, or I, I don't know what it was. But that's all his gameplays were, was just him playing and talking. So I figured if I just do gameplays of Roblox, you know, inside Lumber Tycoon 2, which happens to be my favorite calming game in the world, then why can't I do the exact same thing as him? You know, become super popular. Only instead of being the bully, be the encourager. Be the person that's like saying good job, everyone, and giving the encouragement and what to do in situations. Who knows? Crazy. Are you recording right now? Yes. On my base. <laughs> Blade Switch is gonna be like, oh my gosh, I'm on a video! That's so cool! <laughs> We've probably met before. Just saying. That's my little conveyor belt design thing that I did. Just for fun. Now I could. Oh, okay. I would have to have help to do that because these two right here. Wait, are those glitched together? I think those are glitched. No, those are not glitched together. So. <clears throat> Uh, if I wanted to do... These two are glitched together, aren't they? Hold on. Yeah, those two are definitely glitched together. Togetherness. Because you can't get, get those two up there like that, so. These two in the middle, these are glitches. These are not. These are. These are not. So. What's up? Hi. Do you have Discord on? Nope. Just playing tonight. It was too late to get into studio. I mean, it's it's never too late to program, but it's it is super late. So what I need to do is I need to record and throw it up and throw a thumbnail and then go to bed because I'm tired. <laughs> Today was a really long day. 
Um, for those of you that don't know what I do in real life, uh, well, I guess this is real life, technically. Um, okay, so my, my first job, because YouTube is kind of like a job, right? I mean, not really. This is more like a hobby. So don't think that I do this 100% all the time. I actually am a application development uh, analyst for um, a company and I develop programs. And that's why I know so much about computers and programming and everything like that. Uh, you are so cool. Oh, thank you. Uh, I don't know if I still qualify as cool, but you know, I, I do try my best to uh, stay relevant. Uh, which is funny because um, <laughs> over the past years of doing YouTube and everything else, I've uh, I found it easier to have conversations with kids than it is with adults. Because a lot of adults my age, they talk about sports and, and engines and motors and stuff like that. And I talk about like memes and it, these YouTubers. <laughs> I'm like, wait. So... I've also found that the only conversations that I can hold are with other YouTubers. Kind of. Uh, even even when it comes to like um, just everyday conversation, I find it hard to talk to, to the normal conversation that's going on. Um, and that's, that's hard. But I, I, I want you guys to know that that's not abnormal that's not weird um, if you have problems communicating or expressing yourself or trying to get a, your point across um, that is becoming a normal thing uh, hold on Coffee is really good. It actually helps calm me down. Uh, for those of you that didn't know, and I do have a lot of new subscribers that have come to my channel and have not seen one of these yet, one of these gameplays. And I mean, I'm not really building or doing anything, which I probably should be. Um, in fact, let's do that. So, oh wait, wait, wait. What what do I need first? Hold on, get out of there. Uh, I need I need ladders. That's what I need. So. Um, the conversations that I have, and any, anybody that I work with or anybody that I know in real life, please don't take offense to this, but I find normal conversation very dull and boring. Um, even casualties, like, or not casualties, like, oh no, <laughs> casualties. Um, casual conversations, casual common courtesies and stuff like that, like good mornings and hellos and how are yous. Um, whenever I'm walking through the hallway or whenever I'm walking around at work and stuff, a lot of people say, hey, and, and how are you? Which I do, I understand how some people might need that confirmation of like a good morning, but I I find it redundant. Like somebody says, "How how are you?" right? And do they really want to know about like how I'm doing at that particular point in time? I mean, cuz I mean, I could be doing really good or really bad. Who knows? And I find it is part of normal conversation. I mean, it's a it's a courtesy to ask somebody how they're doing, you know? Which, I do understand. I understand the need for it. But, I, I don't want to do it. I don't want to say hello. Sometimes I just want to walk into work, go go program my portion of the thing for the day, or do a database or something like that. No, I don't want to conversate with a whole bunch of people, but that's part of my job. I have to answer the phone and talk to people find out what their need is for that particular program or that particular website and gather the information so I can go and make it happen. And I do I do pretty much everything from the uh, from the ground up as far as programming a page goes. Um, a lot of the times you will have 
one person who's a, a DBA, database administrator, and you'll have another person who is in charge of um, what kind of scripts you can use, their quality assurance person, and then you have the actual programmers who go in and make sure that the applications are running or whatever it is that you do. I do all of it. Oh, don't go in. Don't. No! That was a horrible spot to be. Oh, well. I build from the ground up. I build from the database out. What data am I going to need inside this program? What data am I trying to collect? And I go from there. Usually it's uh, along the lines of, oh wait, is this, is this the right size? Yeah, one by one. <clears throat> Usually it's along the lines of um, what the person needs, and then uh, we'll sit down, oh, oh, excuse me, excuse me. We will sit down and basically whiteboard it. We'll, we'll put it all out, what n is needed. Of course, uh, my boss, he used to be a developer. Uh, moved more networking when it came along, but he comes from an old school programming from RPG days and AS 400s stuff like that. I started out my first language that I ever learned. Well, technically, my first language I ever learned was Game Genie, but uh, I didn't even know I was actually programming. I just thought those were like secret codes, which they were technically back then. Um, but that's how I got started was I was inputting these codes and then I found out that I could actually modify those codes to change their effects. And I'm like, oh, how's that work? But then I, I moved into um, Visual Basic and the version I was on was Visual Basic 3.0. Oh man, I remember it had 14 floppy disk that I had to uh, run to get it to install on Windows 95. It may have been Windows 98. Windows 95 was early days for me. Anyhow, got my first computer when I was 13, started programming by the age of 14, and by the time I was 16, I knew Visual Basic, C++, HTML, and um, Visual Basic, C++, HTML. What else did I know? I get, I'll just claim that for now, because, uh, and C++, I wouldn't even put on the resumes anymore, because I have not touched C++ in forever. Uh, the last language that I remember learning that I haven't used was C Sharp and uh, MVC, which MVC is part of ASP.NET, which, you know, happens. Code, how is your game going? Oh, uh, sorry. I was talking to the camera. Uh, so cool. Hey Code, can you sign my base please? I only have 10 minutes. Yes. yes, I can, but can you wait for after the video? I still have 10 minutes left to record. Um, hey, cooking inside my base, inside my base, how's it going? Game is going well. I haven't touched it today, but I hope to jump back in tomorrow and get some save data working. Hi, Rins. Rins says hello. down first, then I can look up, then I can place. I can grab, look down, look up, whoops, and place. Grab, look down, look up, place. Uh, big fan here. I don't have a lot of time watching your videos. Thank you. <clears throat> if you only, I'm sorry. But I can't until after I'm done. I'll give him a smiley face. Big, big shout out to Doom2662. 
I'm sorry, buddy. Um, I hope you can stay, like, just if you, if it's your bedtime or something like that, just tell your parents it's like a special occasion, and I'll, I'll make sure that you're the first person I go sign. But I really do need to keep moving. See this building system? I want this building system. This is amazing. <clears throat> I wouldn't even mind it if like this was the only part of the game. You just come in and build things. <laughs> in fact, just make a make a game where there's a single plot and it's called build things. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Don't be sad. You're in the game. Like, come take a selfie. Come take a selfie. Is that a selfie? A sluffy. Sluffy. It's a sluffy. Last time on Lawai. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. Hold on. Get, get an X out there. Jeez. <laughs> Oh no, everybody's coming over. Hi everyone. <laughs> That's gonna be the thumbnail. That's awesome. Cheese. <laughs> Cheese. Print screen. There we go. Oh gosh, it's been a while since I've been in the game. And it's been a while since I've just sat here and, and talked and, and had fun, so. I'm glad I, I took a break and came in here and did this. Maybe I should just... Should I go back to doing the videos and just make my game on the side? I mean, most of the time the reason that I come in here to make videos about the programming is because I don't have time to do a video and the programming at the same time. So I started kind of combining it where I would record a video and record myself programming. That was... The reasoning behind it and it worked really well I mean you guys still enjoyed it I still did a lot of programming even now as I speak somebody either is has or will comment down below oh my gosh where's your programming video oh <gasps> now don't comment it just because I said it but you know what I mean somebody will because as soon as I switched over to the programming videos somebody's like where's lumber <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't had anybody Say, where's your hypnosis videos? <laughs> hypnosis? What? He does hypnosis? Yes, you will subscribe. Sleep. I'm just kidding. If you actually fell asleep, one, two, three, wide awake. <laughs> I don't think anybody's that susceptible. Sus susceptible? Suggestible? <laughs> Oh, by the way, while I was out on uh, vacation, uh, those three days or whatnot, I actually got to perform my hypnosis on two people. So, what's great is uh, last time we had all gotten together like that, um, both kids, they were under the age of 14, which I kind of have a rule that like you don't hypnotize somebody that's under the age of 14 because... They, they're, the mindset's not quite fully developed yet, and it's, it's actually quite hard. It's quite hard to hypnotize somebody that's not been pre-programmed. Does, does that make sense? Because with the way hypnosis works. Anyhow, um, it had been so long. Like, I've been doing YouTube for four or five years, something like that. And on this trip, they were both over the age of 16. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's, that is awesome. All right, hold on. I got to come back down for that one. Move. So we did a little bit of hypnosis, had a little bit of fun, got to go out on the river and camp. Well, it was more like glamping, glamorous camping, but it was, it was good. It was so good. So relaxing out in nature and wilderness and stuff. And no, for those of you who are asking, I did not play Lumber Tycoon 2 for reals. We did uh, we did collect up some wood and we made some campfires and stuff. Got to make s'mores, but I mean, not 
Aw, oh, dang it. Give me that. Building a palm bridge? No, it's it's a uh, um, glofer bridge. And I cannot reach that down there. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'll just grab the ones that I can reach. And we'll go back down for the other ones here after a while. What time is it? Okay, we're we're at 25 minutes in the video. It feels like this video has gone a lot longer than the uh, programming videos. Which is good. That's nice. Um, ooh. I also have a lot of people ask me, why don't you edit your videos? Or could you edit out some of your videos? Um, and the answer is no. If you notice, most people don't talk the entire time. A lot of people will, a lot of YouTubers, will use cuts and effects to interestify their video. And I don't think that's right. Like, I don't get to see the full gameplay. And I know it takes longer than that to complete Undertale. Just saying. Oh, by the way, if you've not seen my Undertale videos, I have an entire series of Undertale. Pacifist mode. Purely pacifist. I think there was like 36 episodes or something like that. Oh man. So, grab yourself some popcorn, grab a snack, go watch some Undertale. And if you've watched somebody else play it, you should watch me play it. It's completely different. Promise. Uh, oh, I was also thinking, um, a lot of people have been saying, go play Minecraft. I, I don't know if I should. Is it still relevant? Is it still a thing? Put in the comments down below. Minecraft? No Minecraft? I mean... It would have to take up some time of the development stuff, and I'd have to rearrange my schedule somehow, but I mean, I could if you guys want me to, if you really wanted me to, if you really cared. Blink. Bye, guys. <laughs> Let's grab this one down here. Oh gosh, am I gonna be able to get it up there? Yes! Glorious. Move. Please don't stand up there. Please don't stand up there. Please don't stand up there. Uh, please don't stand. Thank you. <laughs> up, 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 up. Oh, come on, come on. Maybe I should move over a little bit. There we go. Almost done. Almost. I'm gonna have to climb up a little bit, aren't I? Yes, I am. <clears throat> We're at 28 minutes. So close. And I do, I, I've gotta cut it like immediately. Drink. Lag. Lag spike. Come on. There we go. Actually, I don't need this down here anymore, do I? So I can go up to the next layer. Hold on. Hold on. Can I, can I move it up to here? Maybe? Oh, oh. That works. Never get away from ladders, it seems. What are you two doing? Is that a lag spike? I think that might be just a lag spike. That or they're, they're both going up and down on the ladder really fast. I don't know what they're doing. Silly gooses. Silly goose. I'm gonna have to get a, a t-shirt that says that. It says silly goose on it. They were just going back and forth. Sally Goose. Copyright 2019. <laughs> Code Primate. I'm just kidding. You can you can make t-shirts if you want. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. 
Another lag spike. There we go. Now I can put that back where it was. Almost done. I hope that this video has brought some calmness to your life. That it's not stressful at all. That you came in here, had a good time, and now you can go back to normal streaming videos, whatever it is that you want to watch, and, you know, feel good knowing that there's still wholesome videos out here, just like this. If you want, or if this is even wholesome, who knows. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2. With me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos, or at the beginning, apparently, because that's what YouTube's calling for now. And I will try and keep on the, the awesome path of developing and programming and doing things. Until next time, I love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. <sighs> Outro. Thank you.